Hey, Kelly Clark with Lakefront Living at the Mint Group. Today we're breaking down the numbers to see how the presidential election will affect real estate. The 2024 presidential election is just months away. As someone who's thinking about potentially buying or selling a home, you're probably curious about what effect, if any, elections have on the housing market. It's a great question because buying or selling a home is a major decision and it's natural to wonder how such a major event might impact your plans. Historically, presidential elections have only had a small temporary impact on the housing market. Here's the latest on exactly what's happening happened to home sales, prices, and mortgage rates throughout those times. For sales during the month of November, in years when presidential elections take place, there's typically a slight slowdown in sales. As Ali Wolf, chief economist at Zula, explains, usually home sales are unchanged compared to a non-election year, with the exception being November. In an election year, November is slower than normal, and this is mostly because some people feel uncertain and hesitant about making big decisions during such a pivotal time. However, it's important to know the slowdown is only temporary. Historically, home sales bounced back in December and continue to rise the following year. In fact, data from the Department of Housing and Urban Development and the National Association of Realtors shows that after nine of the last 11 presidential elections, home sales went up the next year. The graph shows going back to 1978. The presidential election is noted after each election in green. Existing home sales rose that year. The two orange bars represent the only years when sales decreased after an election. Home prices. What about home prices? Do they drop during election years? Not typically. As residential appraiser and housing analyst Ryan Lundquist puts it, an election year doesn't alter the price trend that is already happening in the market. And prices are pretty resilient. They generally rise over the year regardless of elections. Latest data from NARS shows that in seven of the last eight presidential elections, home prices increased the following year. Just like the previous graph shows election years in the year, prices declined after election. That was during the housing market crash, which was far from a typical year. Today's market is much different than it was back then. All the green bars represent when prices rose the following year. So if you're worried about your home losing value because of the election, you can rest easy knowing prices rise after most presidential elections. Mortgage rates. Mortgage rates are how much your monthly payment will be when you buy a home. Looking at the last 11 presidential election years, data from Freddie Mac shows mortgage rates decreased from July to November in eight of them. Mortgage rates decreased slightly throughout the rest of the year. This year will follow the trend of declining rates leading up to most previous elections. And if you're looking to buy a home in coming months, this could be good news as lower rates could be a lower monthly payment for you. What this means for you? So what's the big picture? Elections do have some impact on the housing market. Effect is usually temporary. The bottom line, while it's natural to feel a bit uncertain during an election year, history shows that the housing market remains strong and resilient. If you have questions, reach out to me, your local real estate professional. I'm here to help you navigate the market election year or not.